This goes at 140 pounds is a load that I used to be able to move relatively easily. So by keeping the break periods shorter than five minutes, which is about three minutes, it'll make that intensity slightly harder and uh, increase the overall None of y'all stopping me, don't need the axe Chopping trees, planting seeds, planting schemes Crossing nines, stopping T's Lines are blurred, I cannot see Before I die, I'm top three Before I die, I'm top three He's telling me how many reps I gotta do Okay Okay What is going on YouTube? You are back with the Prez, back in New York, back in the home gym. I've been on a three week travel hiatus. Went to Bermuda for a week on a cruise. Got right back to New York, took one day off, pretty much to do laundry, rewash all my clothes. Flew out the very next night to Athens. We spent one week in Greece, you guys saw the Greece vlog. Straight from Greece, we spent one week in Italy. That vlog is gonna be dropping soon. So three weeks of travel. Diet has been off. Now, in my head the whole time, I thought I'd put on weight. But I've been doing a ton of walking all over the cruise. We were getting in about 20,000 steps a day. Greece and Italy, the steps were insane. 25,000 on average every single day. And we were riding around on scooters, ATVs. It's just the life over there. Listen, there's no construction anywhere. Everything is old school, ancient. These cities that we went to were built all on hilltops in Italy. Santorini, all hilltop villages, tons of stairs, tons of walking. So I got home last night after a long ass flight, which I did 500 air squats on. It was a nine and a half hour flight. I did five bathroom breaks, 100 air squats every time I went to the bathroom. My legs are feeling pretty nice right now. But uh, got on the scale when I got home, I was minus 10 pounds, I was down. 10 plus pounds from before I left. And I knew if I were waiting this morning, I probably would be down even more weight because I'm always lighter in the morning. So I left New York on my initial uh, you know, trip to Bermuda around 170. I weighed in last night at 160 pounds in the dock. If I would've weighed in this morning, I probably would've woke up 159, which I didn't even want to see because I haven't been that slow in years. So again, I was eating like crazy over there, literally enjoying myself. But all that walking, and even though I was eating like crazy, there was nowhere near as much as I eat back home, right? Remember, I have a high metabolism. I typically eat around five to six meals a day, 3,500 calories plus if I want to put on size, 3,000 to 3,500 just to maintain, right? And to do that over three meals a day, traveling, almost impossible, right? Because I don't eat 1,000 plus calorie meals. I don't drink, so I don't get liquid calories like that. I only drink water. And the food over there in these countries is light and like it's just hard to put in that many calories per meal. So dramatically under eight, dramatically under eight protein. So I probably lost a little bit of muscle, definitely lost some body fat. So we're gonna get back to our routine, focusing on putting back on size and we're increasing the calories over this next couple days, probably for the next like 10 days, I'm gonna be eating 3,500 calories max. And then I'm gonna probably try to increase getting into a bulk over the winter. So I'm gonna try to get back to that 170 within like maybe two to three weeks. And once I hit that point, then we'll go on a steady, slow bulk from there. So I did get some training sessions in while I was away, pretty much all body weight, high volume repetitions, which again is gonna produce more of a burn than what I was already getting. So we get back to our routine, hypertrophy based, weighted calisthenics, hybrid style training, starting off with muscle ups today. I'm only gonna do two sets of muscle ups, and I'm gonna go pretty heavy with pulls, and I'm gonna Touch on some weighted dips, which I haven't done in a while. So, let's go. All right, before we left, we were hitting three sets of seven on this bar. Only caught five today, a little bit of a struggle, but that's what happens when you know when your training is not on par. I didn't really train muscles too often. I got some reps and sets in of it. 
But again, just not training the movement as consistently. I had a little bit of a downfall on repetition, and plus I'm not fully recovered right now. Like I said, it was a long flight, a lot of jet lag. We're gonna train hard today. Stay tuned, follow this routine off. This is how we're gonna put our size back on, get really strong, let's get it. All right, let's get it. Second step. Six reps on the second set. Told you I'm just gonna do two sets of muscle ups today. Just basically get my body back to the movement pattern, warm my whole nervous system up for the weighted sets to go. Let's get it. All right, guys, I'm still warming up right now. But what I've been trying to do in this home gym is find out an ideal dip setup for when I dip heavy weight. I bought this plyo box for an intro, right? Because you know, in competition, what you'll see in the way we did it when I trained, when I competed. You have a nice platform behind you. You can load the weight down, hit your rep, lock out, and then step back off the platform, right? This platform, unfortunately, isn't big enough for me to do that with. So when I load up and I try to step on the platform, it's extremely difficult, right? So I gotta get myself a bigger box. I'm gonna have to buy a wooden plyo box. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to train dips with bent arm right now. But I'm gonna go back into some heavy sets. I'm still warm up, like I said. This is a 90 pound warm up. And I think max weight today, I'm gonna to go for 140 pound attempt. So I'm gonna go 90, 115, and then I'm gonna jump right to a set at 140, see if we get it. So, second warm up set, let's go. Ninety moving smooth, especially since I haven't done any real weighted dips in a while. I've been doing high rep, body weight stuff, and very slow and controlled. If I'm doing weighted, it's like with 45 pounds. So we're gonna do one more build up set, and I've got some weighted. To get to. 115 pounds, last build up set before the main work. Let's go. And by this point, I decided to get rid of the box altogether. I lowered the dip bars down so I didn't need a box to get into them. But now I have to bend my knees. I trained bent knees dips in Juniper Park, so it was no different. This is just going to make me stronger for when I have a full range of motion. I can keep my legs straighter. All right, let's go. Working weight. We're going to strap up 140 pounds. Let's get it. See how we feel as the third set. All right, getting into the second set, guys. So typically when I'm doing heavy weighted dips or pulls, when it's really heavy, the breaks are around four to five minutes with a minimal rest time of three minutes, which is exactly what I'm taking today. Three minutes in between each of these sets today. Just because it's 140 pounds is a load that I used to be able to move relatively easily. So by keeping the break periods shorter than five minutes, which is about three minutes, it'll make that intensity slightly harder and uh, increase the overall 
effectiveness that I'm going to get from this load at 140. So, let's go. And you see I'm getting extreme depth on these reps also, right? Ensuring that I'm breaking that uh, 90 degree where the shoulder is past the elbow. Second set, RPE about nine. So we'll see how we're feeling after set three. See if we want to do more volume. Ah, let's go. Third set, 140. Depth on every rep. Three sets of three, that's it. For the way you did today, we can always add volume over time, just getting back into it. No need to fry the nervous system. Right away, right? Because my work capacity for the weighted sets probably not as high as it used to be. We got weighted pulls now. Let's get it. Alright, guys. Moving on to the weighted pull-ups now. So before I hit my vacation, I was doing five by twos pretty often, building up my pull-up strength. Then over the break when I was traveling, one day when I was in Naples, I went to a gym down there, I posted a little snap on my IG story, and I was hitting 90 pound pulls for four sets of three. So I increased the volume, five by two, 10 reps in five, four by three, 12 reps in four. So that showed that I was getting stronger in the weighted pull. So I could go for a five by three now at the 90, but what I want to do is I want to actually push the load a little bit higher. So I'm going to go 92.5 and aim for a four by three with just a slight increase of load. So adding two and a half pounds, trying to hit another four by three. I did warm up sets already. So let's get into it. Set one. And I'll take that. That's a PR for me. As of late, very happy with that. Especially figuring that I'm down 10 pounds right now. I'm probably not as strong as I was to me leaving either. So happy with that work. I'm going to be putting the weight back on and continuously increasing this load. Alright, set two. Now, unlike the dips, now I'm taking a little longer break. I'm taking about four minutes in between each set here. Because I really want to make sure I hit all three reps. And this 92.5 is the heaviest weight I've trained with in a long time. So, let's get it. Really happy with these pulls today. Let's go. Set three. 92.5 Let's go Last set Best set That's what they say, right? Try to get a Pause, lock with the chin over. Just barely got chin to it for the pause. But again, very happy with that pull progress. Four sets of three. Increasing the volume, increasing the load. Next, I'll probably aim for a four by four and then build up to maybe a three by five with this load before we keep increasing. We got more work to do today. Let's get it. All right, this is a bonus set five. I dropped down just two and a half pounds to 90 pounds. And I really want to get that pause lock with the chin over let's go all right close enough full chin over got it to touch 
didn't get that pause on it. But again, that's pretty much full uh, pull capacity for today. Only progress to go up from here, guys. We got more work to do. All right, weighted pull work is done. This is a full upper body workout today. Now moving on to shoulders. Start with muscle ups, you're gonna hit shoulders, back, and chest. Weighted dips, you're gonna hit chest and shoulders. Back, obviously the pull ups, primarily back, but shoulders are involved in every calisthenic aspect, right? Every movement pattern is involving some form of shoulder movement, unless you're doing bodyweight squats. And typically when I was training for, you know, my one rep max strength, I was including overhead pressing until my dips got really heavy. But I also used to train pull ups first, then dips, then overhead press. So it was a dip and then another overhead press, which was two presses in a row, which would typically have a drop off in performance when it got to overhead pressing. Now we split it up. I trained dips first, then went to pull ups, now I'm going back to another press. But I'm not going to do a handstand today. I'm going to try to build more on that hypertrophy rep range now, free weight style, dumbbells. Really slow and control because I'm going to try to build as much muscle as possible in the shoulders because the stronger shoulder in general is going to increase the overall pushing strength and increase the health of the shoulder. And free weights, dumbbells as opposed to barbells are going to allow me to get a deeper range of motion with a lighter load. And I'm going to really try to control this, really focus on deep eccentrics, pauses, building up that time under tension. The intensity and mechanical load is not going to be that high when we're getting that metabolic stress and that uh, uh, meta um, we be getting that metabolic stress and that muscle damage from the slow negative. So shoulders now. We're gonna start with fifty pound dumbbells. Anywhere from six to eight reps, nice and controlled. All right, guys, you're going to see with these repetitions, the negative is crucial. You really want to emphasize that slow, eccentric, feel that muscle stretch, and you want to be able to get to this deepest range of motion that you could get to comfortably. So taking that shoulder to the maximal stretch capacity and then locking out. I was able to get six clean reps. I didn't want to go to failure on set one or push too hard because I wanted to get a clean six across the board. On the last set, that's when you push almost to aim for failure. All right, uh, pretty tough six. I might have been able to push out one more rep you guys saw. Really slow and controlled negatives, getting to as deep as stretch as possible, really lengthening that muscle, and then pushing up as strong with a full lockout every single repetition. These are gonna help work on imbalances as well. Two more sets of six. Really focus on that muscle building now for shoulders. Let's go. Set two. And remember, guys, these slow negatives right here, that's where you're really going to be able to make that mind-muscle connection. Owning the weight, slowing it down. Don't just jerk it. When you're jerking it, you can feel nothing. This is going to allow you to get that mind-muscle connection, which is crucial for muscle building, and it's going to help you chase that burn, that slow eccentric. That's what's going to build up that lactic acid. That's what's going to build up those metabolites, get you that crazy burn, crazy pump. I remember the best thing about dumbbells is they allow for freedom of movement of each limb and they allow you to work the range of motion and keep the dumbbells in a movement plane that is most comfortable. Remember when you're on a bar, your hands are fixed. You have to keep them pronated no matter what and you have to move in a fixed path. And if you have a more dominant press on one side, you may get an uneven bar path. Here with the dumbbells, you could get a slight twist. You could get more of a 45 degree angle. You could go more neutral if it's comfortable. You could work in the plane of motion that's most comfortable for your body. And again, you'll be able to point out those imbalances from limb to limb and work them individually. Three sets, six reps. And again, guys, just like when I was showing you those body weight push up sets, really slow and controlled, you're not going to see many people doing reps with that cadence, right? Really, that slow, controlled, negative. That really increases the intensity. That totally exaggerates the muscle building effect. It's gonna make it that much better than opposed to you just pushing through the weight, right? When you see me doing those weighted pulls previously, I'm moving that weight, right? I'm using everything I can 
to move it. I don't really have a mind-muscle connection with the lats or anything like that. Yes, the back is getting stimulated a lot, but so is you know the biceps, shoulders, core. Some momentum is there here. Total control of the weight, full feel in the muscles that we want to be working right now. Three sets of six, we increase the volume next time we're at this movement. All right, guys, finishing the routine off today with some horizontal pushing and pulling now. We did a lot of vertical work, dipping, overhead pressing, pull-ups, a lot of vertical movement, right? So we gotta get that horizontal rowing and pressing in for that thickness and that width in the body, right? So we're gonna superset now for the sole purpose of you know keeping that aerobic endurance that we built up, keeping that work capacity we've been doing, that we built up with doing all these high rep body weight sets in the past, right? Because now remember when I start taking these long breaks, the weighted sets, the first thing that drops off, even though the strength increases, the first thing that drops off is the overall work capacity and the endurance aspect, right? So to keep that in, we're going to be hitting super set now, ring push-ups, right into ring rows, three sets, high volume here, guys. Really quickly, I'm gonna raise the height for the rows. This is the only break in between the sets. And another benefit of these supersets, especially when you're going more high rep like this, 15 and 15, nice, slow, and controlled, is you get that conditioning aspect, meaning you get to condition the muscles. These high rep sets, these high time under tension, almost isolation sets, they really get to condition those muscles deep down into the deepest fibers, and they help really put a nice shape to the overall physique. And again, Doing it superset style, like I talked about just previously, is going to help you keep that work capacity, keep that endurance up, and again, it's going to help the body stay more conditioned. And when we say conditioned, that means more lean, tight, and sculpted.
All right, guys. That is a wrap for the full upper body routine. Took a little long today, a little over 90 minutes. We're going to break. We're a little longer. Did a lot more work, right? Muscle ups, weighted dips. When you're not, when you're doing the heavy weight dips and the weight pose, the warm-up sets take time too. I didn't film all the warm-up sets, but that takes time, right? Building up to the heavy loads. The long break periods, three to four minutes in between the dips and the pull-ups. Long break periods there. The slow negatives, shoulder pressing, three sets. So the volume's high. We did two sets only of the superset pushes and rows. And then I went into one set of those single arm rows that you just saw me end the routine with. Just to get some isolation work individually for the for each limb, right? For the rowing. Really trying to work on building that row strength up as well. So three sets done, full of body routine today. Literally hit everything, shoulders, chest, and back. Biceps can get a lot of activation from those supinated style ring rows, triceps from all the pressing, the dips, the pushes, the shoulder press. So really no need to isolate them. Full of body routine, guys. Almost a little bit of a hybrid style again, but again, that's what's needed when you know when you're trying to push past your limits and break through plateaus, and you know make consistent progress and get bigger and stronger. Hope you enjoyed this routine, guys. Stay tuned. I'm gonna be posting a lot more now that I'm back from my travels a lot more consistently. I'll try to go live once a week as well for you guys. So, like always, guys, I appreciate I appreciate all the support. Like the video helps you out. Now share with your friends and your family. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Let's keep this channel growing. And like always, guys, peace out. No sad story, I ain't here for a symphony, no sympathy. When I was on the bench, you wouldn't sit with me. Now I'm on the court and I'm balling, my time's coming.